I think that what we're seeing for the future for plate fixation of distal raised fractures is we had this big pendulum that swung to the volar side that everything had to be fixed from the volar aspect because uh, we had the, with these with these good strong volar plates. In the past the dorsal plates uh, had a little bit of uh, kind of a bad reputation with some extensor tendon irritation. But now with these newer second third generation dorsal plates we're seeing much less irritation than in, in the past. Uh, and now I think what we're seeing is if you have a fracture you, this, as a surgeon you can decide what's the best way for me to reduce this fracture. Is it volar? Is it dorsal? Uh, or is it a combination? Uh, and now I got, with, particularly with one system of plates, I've got good volar plates, I've got good dorsal plates, I have fragment pacific plates, I have the volar ulnar plate. I can choose whatever I want now and decide what's the best way to go because I've got an entire system now to, to, to pick from. And I also, if uh, I, do a, I do a volar approach, and I may not quite be happy with my stability of, of a dorsal piece, I can do a small little dorsal approach and use the, use the fragment pacific. Uh, plates to support that, uh, a, a, a lunate die punch or now I got the frag lock if I want just you just a little just a little extra support I can add that on so I got the whole system to pick from so now rather than being forced to go volar 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 I can go whatever it takes whatever best way to get the most stability so we can start range of motion from our entire system of plates.